Just days after Thanksgiving, people are standing in long lines to be tested for COVID-19. Our Kelly Kennedy tells us what you should do if you need a COVID test. If you need to get tested for COVID-19, you could be waiting for a while. Yesterday, people waited in a long line at this urgent care off of Highway 72 in West Huntsville, just hoping to get tested. Urgent care employees at this AFC location say they've been low on shipments and could only give 50 tests yesterday. Because tests were first come, first serve, people waited outside to make sure they got a test. Today, the same thing. Kyler Shelton had to come in to be tested today because they ran out of tests before his appointment yesterday. Even when I got there, I had to stand outside in the rain and it's like 30 something degrees. For about 20 minutes, I was standing outside before I finally got under a tent to get tested. And uh, then I had to sit in my car for 30 minutes until someone came and told me that I could leave and they would just call me later. Workers at the urgent care say they were swamped the day after Thanksgiving. On Friday, they saw around 160 people who came for a COVID test. They normally see about 110 in a day. So while I was in line, it seemed like most people were just there just to see if they had gotten it or not. An infectious disease specialist in Huntsville says you should get tested for COVID-19 if you celebrated with a large crowd on Thanksgiving, but to wait at least seven days. So if people are coming and getting themselves tested now, it's too early. They should not be doing that. It's it's just waste of resources. The people who have been to big gatherings, they should go on Friday onwards to get themselves tested. So getting them tested on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is not going to, we're not going to gain anything. We're just going to uh, waste the resources. She says if you get tested earlier than seven days after exposure, the test may not can detect COVID-19 yet. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News.